Hello and welcome to the new video tutorial of OpenCart eBay Connector. In today's video tutorial, we will be going through the module configuration and before moving ahead, uh, let me tell you what this module really does. As you can guess from the name itself, eBay Connector connects or integrates your eBay store to your OpenCart store. With the help of this module, uh, the admin can import products, categories and orders from the eBay store to your OpenCart store and can export products from or OpenCart store to your eBay store. So let's move ahead. Uh, but before moving to the admin configuration part, uh, let's move to the uh, eBay store and see uh, what all credentials or uh, IDs are needed in order to configure this module. So let's move to the eBay part. In order to fetch the uh, IDs, the admin needs to move to the developer.ebay.com. Uh, for this, the admin needs to register. Uh, on clicking on the register tab, uh, if the eBay developer account hasn't been created before, the admin can register here. Or if done, uh, the admin can sign in. As in this case, I am already registered, so I can sign in from my credentials. As you can see, I am logging in through my previously registered developer program account. And uh, after this, After the login account, you can see the following keys uh, like the app ID and the dev ID and the certificate ID. In order to fetch the token ID, the admin needs to go to the user token. On clicking on the user token, the admin will be navigated to a page where the admin can set the environment for which the token is needed to be generated. Like in this case, it is sandbox, which is a testing environment or you can generate for the production or live environment as well. Uh, in the get a user token here, you admin needs to click on the sign in to sandbox. On clicking on the following, uh, a page will appear where the admin needs to sign in with your eBay account in order to link it to the dev program account. As you can see, I have entered my eBay account details. On clicking on sign in, you can see a grant application access page will appear. On clicking on agree button, the admin will be navigated back to the initial page in which uh, the following details like the use, uh, user ID which is here you can see and the token ID which, which is this thing you have to copy it uh, and each time you log in uh, a new token ID will be generated uh, for authentication purposes so let's move ahead to the admin configuration part now we are at the admin background panel. After the installation of the module, the admin needs to move to the extensions. Under the extension tab, uh, the admin needs to select the extension type which is in this case is modules. Uh, on clicking on the edit button of the eBay connector, the following configuration appears in which the admin can set the status of the module as enable or disable as per its requirement. Uh, the uh, admin can set the configuration settings under this. The global set sites uh, can be selected uh, in which the eBay store has been present. 
like suppose you have an ebay store in united states uh, then you have to select the following ebay united states and respectively uh, for the following countries in which uh, your ebay store has been published uh, for the mode the admin can select the mode uh, in which uh, the respective ebay account credentials are present uh, like suppose uh, you have uh, ids and credentials for the uh, test account then you need to select to the sandbox or for the live account the admin needs to select the production the fall uh, the admin needs to enter the following ids uh, which uh, which he have fetched before from the ebay account as shown earlier the following ids are user id to authentication token application id developer id and certificate ids which we have fetched from the ebay account earlier and the postal uh, codes uh, need to be entered for the ebay store and uh, under the import category section uh, the admin uh, can enter the default number of ebay categories uh, to map into the open card uh, and uh, uh, after entering the number of rows uh, which is to be fetched uh, the admin can each to select the import ebay category uh, and the following uh, rows uh, of uh, following categories will be fetched in that number of rows uh, under the product settings uh, the admin can uh, configure the product uh, settings accordingly uh, in the default open card product quantity uh, the default product uh, quantity can be set if the product quantity is zero in the open card store and uh, the respective open card store product has been imported to ebay product export tax status uh, if enabled then the tax will be added to the product price while exporting to the ebay site to choose default categories uh, when the ebay item categories uh, will not map to the open cart categories at the time of product import from ebay then the product will be assigned to this default category account delete option uh, if enabled after deleting the ebay account all the related mapped data of that account will be removed from the open cart store else the mapped entities will be deleted but the orders and the products will remain the same in the open cart store in the report policy of the ebay item uh, the admin can configure the policy accordingly like define uh, return policy uh, uh, the admin can see uh, either accept uh, returns or can deny it uh, can set the days for the returns uh, it can be any days as per the requirements like 14 days 30 days or 60 days pay by uh, the admin can select who will pay for the return products uh, uh, if return has been selected on the ebay um, and can either set information uh, like the extra information that admin needs to display on the ebay store under the item listing option the admin can set up the exported product listing settings like listing duration uh, in which uh, uh, the admin can select the duration for the exported products on ebay uh, it can be good till like cancel or can set the fixed date uh, for the listing uh, and in the end listing of the ebay item uh, if enabled and you delete an open card product mapped entry uh, and uh, the sync source in the open card then the map ebay item listing will also end from the ebay in the end listing of the ebay item when product quantity is zero uh, if enabled and you have updated your uh, product quantity to zero or any customer order has been ordered in which the open card stock becomes zero the product will end from the ebay listing in the delete open card product uh, the if uh, admin select as enable uh, will delete uh, the imported products in the open card after the record is removed in the dispatch option 
the admin can uh, select the dispatch time uh, for the exported products on eBay it can be 3 days 10 days 15 days 20 or 30 as per its requirement in the payment section the admin can enter in the PayPal account uh, email address for receiving the payment from the buyers in the default shipping details uh, the admin can enter the uh, defined uh, shipping service priorities for the exported products can set the shipping services uh, in economy UK other couriers or pickup Germany as per its requirement can set the shipping service cost um, for the exported products uh, shipping service additional cost can also be set up uh, can set the shipping minimum time and the maximum time mm, for shipping uh, the exported products can select if enabled the free shipping uh, will be enabled uh, for the exported product but if disabled the shipping free shipping will not be appeared uh, for the exported products under the order sync option the default open card store for order sync uh, option will appear in this the admin can select the open cart store for mapping the orders from the eBay to open cart mm, here you can select the default store if uh, multiple stores have been created the drop down can mm, on the drop down you can select multiple stores in the eBay imported order status the admin can set the default order status for the orders imported from eBay uh, the admin can also set the number of records to synchronize uh, at every process like uh, can set the order sync number 5, 6 as per its requirement. Uh, in the price rule settings, the admin can select the price sync type uh, either as import or export. Uh, the These options like import and export for which you want to apply in the price rule like if you select the import option then it will work for the, in the reverse manner for the export products or vice versa let us consider an example for better understanding of the price rule option uh, suppose you have a price rule settings uh, which is set to import products uh, as per the price rule the price value of the imported products will increase by a value let's take 10 for example uh, so uh, for the imported products the value will increase by 10 but for the uh, price value of the exported products it will de reduce or decrease by a value of 10 I hope you understand the following um, for the real-time event settings uh, the real-time event status uh, can be set as enabled or disabled if set enabled uh, the activities of adding, updation or deletion of the eBay site will be updated on the e open card store also. So that's all for the configuration part. Uh, hope you understand that part. If you have any query or issues related to the open card eBay connector, uh, please mail us at uh, support at the rate webcool.com. Thank you.